Uh, how you guys doing? Um, this is Mike S again. Um, just a couple days ago, I came out about uh, quitting Spice, and uh, I'm going on about day ten, maybe a little bit more. Uh, it's nine twenty eight, two thousand and fourteen. Um, I when I did quit, I, uh, basically I shared my video coming out, basically sharing my symptoms. Um. Of what I was going through. Now I'm gonna go through the recovery process of how I'm doing. Um, I've still been clean, which is great news. So, if anybody else is still clean, congratulations. We're doing strong. We're doing great. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep making these videos like I promised you guys. Um, as I'm going through the process, uh, others, I haven't seen other videos on it, so maybe it could help ease us go through it together. So you're not know, so you know that we're not alone. Um. Drinking water. Gotta drink lots and lots of water. Um. Okay. I feel a lot better now, but um. Basically, what happened is when I last time I talked to y'all, I ran out of my medication where I got that filled up. Um. Now I'm gonna talk to you about how it make how to make it a little easier to cope with uh, some tips and tricks that I found out to make it a little easier along the way. Along the first weeks, um, I was going through some really bad symptoms. I wasn't eating or drinking or nothing. It was really hard. But you have to force yourself to drink and eat. Um, I know it sounds like a pain in the ass, but you really have to force yourself to eat and drink. What you want to drink is lots and lots of water. Um, if you can't drink the water and you keep puking it up, um, try drinking warm water. Warm water will help maybe keep it down a little bit more. Um, even so, you're st it's still going to come back up, but th still, keep drinking water. If you don't want to drink water, any clear liquid helps. Um, You want to replenish the sugars back in your body, so go get a 2 liter of Sprite or 7-Up. Don't get Mountain Dew, just Sprite or 7-Up, the clear liquid stuff kind. Or what else has also helped me is um, I've also drank a couple of these things since then. Um, Pedialyte helps. It's really, really nasty on the mouth. It doesn't taste too good. It doesn't taste like normal juices. But um, what it does is it's like Gatorade. It replenishes your electrolytes and your vitamins um, that you're losing constantly throughout the day. That makes you feel all groggy and whatnot. And um, what you want to do is you want to – what what helps me, since it's not a great flavor, is I pour a little half a cup and then I fill the rest of the cup with water. And I just drink it. It basically doesn't have a flavor, um, but it makes it a little easier to drink. Um so you want to drink a lot, a lot of fluids. It does help. It really does. Um, I also wasn't able to eat, but I forced myself to eat because I knew it would get me better. If you're not hungry, just make. If you don't eat throughout the day, that is also not healthy. You have to make sure you eat. Um, me being a athlete back in high school, I know how the importance of nutrition is. So I make sure I eat, even though I'm not. I can't. Um, what helps me is. Oatmeal in the mornings or white rice. Um, don't add too much seasonings to the rice. Um, you can add sugar, some milk, um, or some salt and butter. However you like to eat your rice. Um, rice and oatmeal, ramen noodles, like anything light. Um, that's gonna go down. Soup. Soup works great. If uh, you want a little snack every once in a while, um, go grab yourself a little a little thing of ice cream. Um, anything really that goes down smooth will help. Um, you don't want to eat a lot of greasy foods, a lot of frozen foods. You don't want to eat breads, uh, a lot of starchy foods because it doesn't feel too good on your stomach. And especially if you have to throw that back up. Uh, you don't want a lot of beans and stuff like that. So with me making these videos, I hope we can help each other through the process. Um, I know I haven't seen too many videos of people going through this, so I'm hoping with my videos more people will come out and make uh, videos of what helps them um, so it can help other people because doctors really don't know what we're going through. Next thing I want to talk about, um, besides the food and drinking, you have to force yourself to eat and drink, um, and that's just a couple of the things that will help you. Um, if you find something else that could be done, go ahead and make a video. We all could use each other as a support system. Oh, my doctor had prescribed me promethazine, and for the first week, um, it was great for the nausea and stuff. Um, I've cut back on my dosage. I don't know if the doctor told me to or not, but I feel I need to cut back on my dosage because um, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I'm not healthy by no means, but I don't want to get dependent on another drug. Um, 
that's a that's this is a scary thing for me now that I'm off the spot. I don't want to be dependent on another drug. Um, so what I have done since this is my pre second prescription, um, I've cut each dosage down to uh, half a tablet every eight hours, and I'm I'm hoping once this jar is gone or before this jar is gone that I won't have to take those anymore. Um, try to crush up some vitamins. Crush up like Centrum or something. Crush up some vitamins. Mix it up in a little cup of water. That way you're getting your uh, nutrients and vitamins back in your system because you're not going to be eating a lot. Um, fruits also help. A lot of bananas. Um, apples and oranges, not really. But bananas really help. Um, if, you, if you can eat bananas, I recommend that. Or grapes. Grapes are great. Um, anything that goes down easy. Um, is perfect for eating um another thing that I also helped me was a a bath um if you feel if you're feeling comfortable at night want to get up go go to the bathtub take a little rinse in the water for about 20 or 30 minutes it'll help a lot um uh, you're gonna you're gonna you need a strong support system as well um, you don't want nobody that's going to be getting mad or frustrated at you because that's not going to help the process at all. Um, you're going to be irritated at times. Uh, you get, you're going to be really angry when you're, for no reason. Um, it's, it's all due to the lack of sleep and how your body's handling it. It's, it's getting rid of poison. So it's going to be a lot of abnormalities about this. Um, and the only way you're going to be able to deal with it is... By having a strong, strong mind of not wanting to go back to it. So, you need a strong support system. You need to be willing to do this for yourself. If uh, someone else is making you do this, chances are you're going to relapse. So, um, I have not gone to rehab yet, but I haven't. Dis I have not disclosed that factor yet. I, matter of fact, I had a talk with my family last night. Talking about if I do want, for some reason want to go back to smoking spice i'm going to go sign myself into a rehab so i know i'm not doing nothing bad um i'm very serious about quitting this shit is poison and excuse my language um this stuff is poison and um with that being said um i'm gonna go along with my processes and what makes it easier for me maybe it'll make it easier for you if it doesn't that's fine we're all different every human every body acts different well if something else makes it easier for you i would Please share it. Um, there's not enough information on the site. I have not seen any videos on where people are talking about what can help you with the symptoms. Um, so the only way we're going to be able to get through this is if we help each other. Is if anybody else did anything differently, go ahead. Make a video or make a comment. Post it. Um, write an article. Make a blog. Do something. We all got to help each other through this. Um, the only way I know... How to cope with this is having the motivation to stay and sticking with it. Um, talking about it, of course, on YouTube is going to make it easier because there's going to be people watching these videos going through it with, along with me. Um, I have a, a family here that's helping me out. Um, right now I'm in the house alone, but that's what I'm doing. I'm making this video. Um, instead of thinking about stuff, I'm, I'm keeping my mind occupied doing other things. Um I recommend you get into something, whether it's music, drawing, watching movies, cleaning. Do something to occupy your time. Um, it's a very rough process, and um, I am proud of anybody that decides to quit. Um, it's the hardest, one of the hardest decisions you'll probably ever make, but if you stick with it, it feels a lot better, and I promise you, I'm on only day 10, and I already feel great. Um, by no means do I feel like a new person. Um, I still have a little bit of the side effects from the spice withdrawal, but other than that, it gets better. Um, some people, the symptoms will last longer, some won't last this long. Um, it's all up to how your body takes it and how your body reacts. So I'm going to make videos on what I'm doing that helps me out and definitely Pedialyte does help. Um, it's not the greatest on flavors, but it helps, um. If you're trying to help someone go through with it and uh, they're constantly telling you they're not hungry or they're not thirsty, um, that's fine. They're going to feel like that. But if you see they're going on the whole day without eating or drinking, 
They need to be forced to eat, whether it's soup, noodles, fluids. They need something in their systems because that's not healthy neither. Um, that's very unhealthy. Um, another thing is you're going to want to have a thing of chapstick. Um, even though you're drinking plenty of fluids, your lips are going to constantly be chapped. So you want a chapstick to constantly put around your mouth. Um, you got to have lots of sleep. So with that being said, if your doctor does prescribe you promethazine, see if they could give you something else for the nausea that will help you sleep. Um, or if they could just prescribe you that and something, uh, another thing so you could take it when you're about to go to sleep because you're not going to get no sleep. And um, if I would have known that, I would have asked the doctor to help me get me something to sleep. So um, these are all the things I've gone through out so, through the withdrawal process. And if you've gone through something different or tried something different and it worked, feel free to share. Every person is different. Not everybody's going to go through it the same way. And so far, this pro method scene it definitely helped with the nausea, but I wasn't getting no sleep on it. I've cut back on my dosage as well, um, and I'm not feeling nauseous either now that the longer that I'm going through with it. So, um, yeah, if you can, talk to your doctor. Um, ask them for some sleep medication if they can. If not, go get yourself a little NyQuil, nighttime NyQuil, and take a little bit at night before you go to sleep. It, it might help. I'm not going to promise you nothing because I personally couldn't get no sleep and uh i finally got a little bit of sleep when i took a when i took medication um it was uh, something like nyquil i can't really it was a nighttime cold cold medicine that you could go get at your local walgreens um or cvc or wherever but yes you have to force yourself to drink and eat a lot of fluids so um, i'm hoping by making these videos i'm helping somebody else who's quitting going through the rough symptoms um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, you'll have, you'll see the videos on Facebook that I'll post them on groups, find groups. Um, if you got a group, feel free to find me. My name's uh, Michael Snelson. Add me to your group or go to my uh, YouTube, comment on my YouTube links. Feel free to ask me questions or make your own videos and post them in my YouTube. I'll watch your video, listen to you, and uh, we'll try to get through this with each other. Um, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, but it's it's definitely for the better. So um, it's better us quitting on our own before we get in trouble with the law. And uh, I'd rather help somebody out before that does happen. So with that being said, this is just on my tips on what I've been going through. Uh, I've been having difficult eating and drinking, so I've been forcing myself to do it because I know nutrition is a must. And I know other people have been going through this problem, so if you can... Force yourself to drink and eat. Um, if you don't want to constantly drink water, like I say, get a two bottle of Seven Up or a little thing of Pedialyte helps put other stuff back into your body, um, and it doesn't make you feel as groggy. Um, it's a tough experience, it is. It is. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll keep making videos as the process goes along to what makes it easier and how I'm feeling. But so far. Um, it's been about 10 or 11 days and I'm going strong and I'm motivated and um, this is definitely definitely the right steps to take. So with that being said, this is my guess and I hope y'all to a well recovery and if you guys are smoking spice, I hope one day that you do see fit the day to quit. Um, you're, you're not going to see it until someone until you want to yourself. Um, you're, you're not going to want to be told anything else. It's a uh, it's it's a, it's a really 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 powerful poison though. Um, it's, I wouldn't even consider it a drug. It's poison. So with that being said, I hope this helps families out or people. Um, yeah, force yourself to drink water, lots of fluid. Get yourself a little chapstick, some type of juices. Um, doesn't matter if it's Gatorade or something. Make sure it's clear liquids. Um, it does help. Um, if you can't eat, like I said, oatmeal, pastas, ramen noodles, rice, um, something that's easy to swallow um vegetables that's that's all all great so um with that being said i hope uh my next video i come out with something else maybe uh some other people will start bringing in their own solution so um stay strong guys and stay with it um if you guys have never done the drug don't do it um with that being said take care